Want some information? Uh, yeah. He's really educational. Um, most of them are found on YouTube. Yep. On the back here, we've got Challenge 22. It's just a 22 day uh, plant based diet challenge. Yep. All these uh, animal foods, this is basically uh, standard practice here in Australia. Uh, is it? Yeah, this is, the, this is the rule, this isn't the exception. Yeah, I don't know about that. The vast majority of animal foods come from uh, factory farms or yeah, they yeah, all no, end that's up... that's true, but like, you know, what, what's happening with the, the beef? That's not standard practice. The beef? What's happening with the pork is not standard practice. Well, there's the, the way the, uh, the beef is getting killed, the cow's getting killed yeah, there. That's, that's not standard. Not. How are they supposed to kill the cow? Sorry? How do they kill the cow in Australia? Oh, uh, there's two methods. There's, um, an, there's electric and then there's a bolt to the head. They don't, but you, yeah. you don't, that, what you're seeing there is not standard. That is probably the worst example of some okay. practices, but it's not. I'm not saying Are you worked not, in a slaughterhouse, did you? No, but, but I, work, I work in food a lot, so I get exposed to a lot of primary industry. Yeah. I've been to, I've been to a number of abattoirs, I've been to feed lots, I've been to, so I've been exposed so to So you've seen uh, what happens on the kill floor, yeah? Yep. Yeah, and how did that make you feel? Oh, like it was really, okay? It's really confronting. So, when you've seen standard uh, killing of animals, yeah. did was that did that make you feel like okay, yeah, that that's that's humane, or oh. do you reckon these guys here would would think that's humane, or if you showed them what happens in an abattoir? No, but we talk about them. Yeah. So they they have been exposed to it. I wouldn't recommend. Uh, I, I would recommend everybody that consumes meat. See what happens to the animal. See what and if you are able to understand the system, if you're able to sort of accept, accept it, it, then eat meat. Do you if think? You don't, yeah. Then don't. yeah. And I understand the, um, the practices of systemized farming. Yeah. And I have I've been in it a long time. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm not happy. Like I've, I've killed animals. Um, How'd that make you feel? Well, it's, it's not nice. It doesn't feel like you. It doesn't feel like you're supposed to do it? No, it does, I wouldn't say that at all. I, I actually think that it's a, a, a part of, that we're all a part of the food chain. Yeah. Like when you die, Like a, a lion, if they killed a cow, uh, if a lion killed a cow, do you think they would feel bad about it? If a lion killed a cow... Would, if, would it, a lion feel, feel bad about it? No. So what? They're true carnivores, yeah? Or Yeah. And what's the point there? I'm not sure. I like, so a, a human being, yeah. right, to say that it's, we're meant to do it, yeah. We, we shouldn't have any reservations about it. We, shouldn't, yeah. we should be able to show our children what happens I to think, animals. I think you're drawing parallels there are probably a little bit faster. That's too far. So I yep. think that um, but if, yep. if we were in the, like the utopian environment where we had to hunt and kill oh, yeah. and take an animal's life for consumption, that's a conversation that's different. That, that's that resonates a lot easier. It's and where it becomes confronting is when you systemise and put things, put, um, put yeah. lives into a system. Yeah. And then products it, make them products. products. But then yeah, but, um, it, it is a part. I mean, do, a part of our food chain. Do you think it's necessary? If we can be yeah. healthy without it. Oh, you can be healthy without it. You can. And whether or not you, um, but it doesn't mean that the vegan lifestyle is the best diet for you. I so is it the best for them? Is it the best for a cow? Is, yeah. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, I mean, like, is it, is it, we, the reason we're vegan is not for ourselves predominantly, it's uh, because we're against what happens to innocent animals. That's where, how we look at it from, from the victim's perspective. Like, we're doing this to animals for no reason, basically. No, no, we are doing it for a reason. Okay. It's, it's, the reason is consumption. Consumption, yeah. It's, is it justified, though? Uh, yeah. How is it justified if we can get alternatives in this society? But what, are, what, is, like, what are the alternatives? What are you talking about? Well, we've got all of these vegan alternatives here that don't contain this violence. So okay, that, that, so, that but, and so, restaurants and things okay, like so, that. Um, the vegan diet is one of the fastest growing social diets. justice movement. Oh, no, let's forget the. If you, uh, if you remove the um, the, uh, uh, the the justice emotion, the justice you know, element. If you, if, you, if you remove the emotion from a conversation and you look at it purely on the basis of you've got um, logics logic you mean not no emotion just logic just, or just just purely logical sort of objective objective okay and you look at um, the production of beef this okay. year, beef is a really easy one okay. we're producing beef in australia um, it's probably about one of the most inefficient yeah. um, sources of uh, protein. Of protein or from, it's, it's from as far as a scalable biomass, it's, yeah. it's awful. It's uh, it's really bad. The, on environment. the environment. Yeah, um, true. But then if you 
look at things such as um, insects, fantastic. In insects are probably one of the greatest converters of um, resources to protein and to biomass. Okay. Because like, if you've got a cow, it's like a, it's roughly, depending on breed diet and a number of other um, uh, environmental factors, yeah. you've got a 10 to 1 conversion, 10 kilos of... Uh, of Grain, and water. what about water? Water, oh, to 1 kilo Yeah, of forget about it. Crickets and mealyworms in Tasmania is about 1 kilo to 10 kilo upwards. Yeah. What about legumes? Uh, yeah, but legumes don't have anywhere near the same sort of dietary complexity as what these other protein sources have. Uh, I mean, they are a source of protein, but you also need to subsidise that with other things such as like minerals, a, minerals, seaweeds, sea vegetables. Well, but again, no, no minerals in in um, beans or no, no, there are, but not enough. But, but the thing is that so the point I was going to get to say is that the vegan diet is one of the fastest growing diets. Um, there is um, a lot more people taking up the vegan diet, but if you were to switch off meat as a protein, we wouldn't be able to sustain ourselves. Wait a second. Um, it's probably about one of the most inefficient yeah. sources of uh, protein. Of protein. Hmm. But if you were to switch off meat as a protein, we wouldn't be able to sustain ourselves. There is not the Why resources not? there. Because we don't have the land. We're using more resources to grow animals, you just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but the thing is that if you're using um, more resources to how much land does it take to produce legumes in well, Australia? The, the reason we're chopping down the rainforest is obviously to no, grow no, crops, yeah? Specific to Australia, and you look at so the example of if, 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 Okay, so we're, we're feeding crops to animals, yeah? Feeding and what, we're feeding the crops to animals, yeah? yeah, yeah. And we're feeding a lot more uh, crops to animals than a human would consume there. Yeah? So, yeah, yeah, so, so let, let me just finish for a sec. So if we're feeding 10 times the amount of food to a cow, Right, when we could eliminate animal agriculture and just eat the crops ourselves, how many crops would, would we need? But that's Less? also but what, one of the things about um, a lot of what is happening in, in yeah. systemized farming practices yeah. is you're also using a lot of seafood proteins and you're using a lot of animal based proteins. So, <coughs> to, feed the, animals, to feed the animals, yeah, they're, they're, all the bycatch and stuff from the ocean they make into pellets and stuff, yeah, and so they the, do same, so, same species feeding. Have you heard about the, that? The thing is that the, the simplified argument of if you're growing these crops to feed animals, yeah. then if we eat them, then we're going to be the same. It's not really, it, it, does, it doesn't really stack up. It's we're not actually, you agree it's inefficient to feed all this water and all this crops to animals, yeah? You agree that it's inefficient? Yeah, but what I'm trying to... What I'm trying so to how, come, to, how could it be sustainable for the planet if it's so inefficient? No, what do you mean by that? No, so I mean like... No, we're we're okay, feeding okay, all this food, all yeah, this yeah. water, just for a piece of steak. Yeah, we no, could eat that food ourselves. I know, like, but, but yeah. his, if you were to, so the the point being, if you the, if you were to use Australia's landmass yeah. to only produce uh, non-animal food, it would struggle. We can't. We okay, considering thirty percent of the world's fresh water is used for animal production, and the amount of vegetable matter you can grow on land compared to meat. Um, is just astounding and I think this man here is just tripping over his facts here. If you were to use, there's an example, and there's, a, there's, a, um, there's an area in Victoria, one of the most uh, successful um, cattle stations, yeah. and what they do is they use open pastures and they let the animals uh, just ruminate and yeah. move about. They require very little inputs. Okay. They're basically just eating grass. You think you could feed the whole world on grass-fed cattle? They need a lot of grass. Yeah, no, but you can't feed the whole world on, on meat tools and legumes on, and, and land-based proteins. Because why not? You can't. There's protein in rice, there's protein in wheat. Okay, so there's how protein much in does rice take to grow? Not nowhere near. These grains take nowhere near as much water for a cow, even that a cow drinks. Okay, so but, what about the... But we're putting water into these grains and then we're feeding the cow the grains, so yeah, there's okay, more so water. How much money is there in rice production? Well, there's enough. There's enough. Where? Where is so, there in the world that you make enough we, money from the production of rice? So money... In order for you to have um, a sustainable lifestyle so that you're able to... Well, um, we, we won't need money if we, the planet doesn't exist. We're, we're no, using no, the no, resources. No, no, the thing is... Where Water's is more there? important than money. Correct. Yeah. But where is there where you can make enough money off rice to sustain yourself and to own the land? The thing and is, that you can defend yourself against the encroachment of cities and well, industrialization. Luckily, we we import and export as well, and we when when animal products don't exist, we'll have room for plant-based alternatives: rice yeah. milk, soy milk, almond milk. Big but business soy milk in is that. One of the greatest reasons uh, soy 
is one of the biggest reasons why there's been so much land clearing in the Amazon basin. Yeah, because they're feeding that soy to animals. They're feeding that soy to us. No, they're not. Yes, no, they're they not. Are. In the Amazon, 91% yeah. of animals, Amazon deforestation is to grow soybeans to feed to livestock. That's where they're feeding the soybeans. We don't need that much soy. Yeah. We need this much. Okay, Cows so need this much. All right, so, so I think we're getting into um, an area where we could talk for a really, really long time. Yeah. But my only point was, was that this is not common practice. And this is what I was saying you, to the You'd have to it provide evidence for that because we've got our thousands and thousands of hours of footage of this exact thing happening okay, across well, abattoirs I mean, across the world. I mean, okay, but the thing is that I, right now I don't need to provide evidence. Uh, we've got our evidence here that, that this is happening in yeah, abattoirs know, everywhere. I mean, I've been in the industry for a long time. I am not an advocate for the consumption of meat over all else. Yeah. I'm an advocate for sustainable solutions and emotive demonstrations are not always the best way to communicate a point. Well, we've had a logical because, discussion here about yeah, but sustainability, you know, that, 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 about... But the first thing I said was this is not an example of normal practice. This is not what happens... They grind every... baby male chicks up alive, standard practice, look it up. They, they, they kill uh, baby calves in the dairy industry, standard practice. They bolt gun them in the head and slash their throat open, yeah, but when standard you show, practice. When you show footage of someone beating a cow to death, is that... It's blunt force trauma. That's is, is the humane that, standard for the but, dairy no, industry. No, but the thing is, do you think that that is a rational um, discussion point for what yeah. is actually happening? Well, is we this, can say this is standard no, no, practice. But, or is this an emotive uh, piece of footage that can shock people without actually getting to the bottom of it, which is a discussion around sustainability, a discussion hey. around ethics, and a discussion... And, and We're yeah. having that discussion now. Yeah, but it's, it's a great platform for that. Okay. Because then we can talk about it. We can say, well, what does this mean? And I can say, well, this is what happens to cows in the dairy industry. Yeah, but, but the only difference is that, that I came to you with a, when you came up and spoke to me. I said, this is not standard practice, and I know that it's not. And your counter uh, argument is hundred percent is. And your counter and your counter argument is that we've got lots of footage. And I'm going, well, this is right. the this becomes the rule when it, this is this is the rule. Okay, you you so have to show me. I'm, like, I'm going to take my kids home, but please, it's not because I want to remove myself from this discussion. It's just that I promise a simple you guys, Google search will show you no, what happens in yeah, what no, what no, their guidelines yeah. are. Okay, let's have a look through here. So we've got the Animal Welfare Guidelines for the Dairy Farmers Australia. Let's go down here. Eleven humane killing. So here we go. A person killing a calf by a blow to the forehead must ensure that the calf is less than 24 hours old and only use this method when no other humane killing methods are reasonably available. So they're just giving these farmers permission to smash a baby calf to, to death in the head when they're less than 24 hours old. Now this can be, this is blunt force trauma. It can be a sledgehammer. Okay, so if you were to not have the Google and you were to have 25 years of working in... In a slaughterhouse. You no, have, yeah. working in the food industry on multiple levels. I was one of the founders for the seaweed industry into Australia. That's I've fine. been working um, with a number of different sustainable platforms. Yeah. And my only point is that this is not standard practice. This is what you do when you're trying to sort of, you know, shock no. people in to create an emotive discussion. And it shouldn't be an emotive discussion. It well, it is because it is. it is an emotion. It, it would if I sat here and killed a dog. Yeah, no, you would. It would make you feel it's emotional. It's emotive because what you're actually. they're doing, real beings. They're um, living beings. It's emotive because what you're doing is you're now talking about shooting a dog. Because a, a dog is place. an animal. Uh, look, like a cow anyway, is an anyway, animal. I don't disagree with. If you don't have emotion no, for animals. Can you just let me speak before I walk away, so you don't think that I am um, trying to be antagonistic or. or detrimental to what it is that you're trying to say. So I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that this is not standard practice, and I know that. Um, I am supportive of sustainable and ethical solutions. And my only point when I was talking to the boys was that, you know, someone beating a cow to death does not happen in every um, dairy farm, and it does not happen in every slaughterhouse. And I would question, I mean, how many okay. have you been to? How I've many seen dairy farms that, I've been to a dairy farm, okay? But I've seen, how many? all how we many? need to know is that even anyway, in, anyway, even anyway, in so the most perfect no, dairy farm, hold on, the hold on, no, 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 I'll just let you speak. No, no, even in the no, most, the thing was even in is, the most perfect dairy farm, okay, so all the calves get taken from their mothers. Yes, how is that I ethical? Know, how is that ethical? You talked about ethics. How is that ethical to take a, a right, calf so away from its mother? I will let you finish 
What's the last word? Does that and happen in Australia? Yes, it does happen. How is that Doesn't ethical? It happen everywhere. They all get taken. They do not. Why would they leave okay. a calf to drink the milk? So Why how would many they leave different a calf? examples? Why would they leave a calf to drink the milk? How many examples of dairy farming outside me. of this Show context? Show me one. Have you seen? Show me one dairy farm I that doesn't take the calf. To Google it. We go there to together. Do your research. Your favourite one. We'll go to your oh, favourite one. Like I say, I'm with my kids. I'm not going to stand here and battle emotional semantics. Well, with we'll you. go to your favourite dairy farm. You choose it, mate.